Hi friends, this is Deepika. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to show you this beautiful designer top. This is having inverted box pleats and a princess cut too and a, a, a kind of peplum top. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll need around 1.25 meters of fabric to make this as it's a flared top and uh, take a half of your fabric and uh, we'll make our front part from that first so just fold it from the middle and uh, trace a middle line and then from the middle line you need to take around 3 inches from both the sides just mark a point at around 3 inches here so first of all we'll give uh, box pleats inverted box pleats so from this point mark 3 inches again and another point at 3 inches do the same thing to the other side also mark 3 inches like this and now uh, from uh, the middle point just trace a line till your waistline whatever uh, length you want for your uh, top just mark this point so here we are marking this line the pleated one now trace the reference line here you need to stitch your fabric so for that just uh, fold your fabric from this middle line so this is the wrong side of your fabric now fold it like this and now on this reference line you need to give a stitch from here to here till the end now fold that stitched part in this way and give a nice iron press it and uh, uh, you can see this uh, folds now after you will turn it to the right side it will look like this now you need to do the same thing with the other part also where we had given us reference lines. So stitch that part also and leave the upper part as it is. Now fold it from the middle and here is the pleats you can see the line. Now from the top just mark the neck width as it's a boat neck pattern. So you need to mark your neck width wider. I am marking 2.5 inches and the neck depth is 2 inches and uh, I am marking the shoulder of 7 inches as my shoulders are 14 inches so half of 14 is 7 armhole is 16 so half of 16 is 8 so armhole I am marking here 8 inches here I am making the front armhole first and uh, then making the boat neck pattern around neck now uh, here mark your apex points so take the middle point of your neckline and armhole line here and go 10.5 inches deeper mark a point and join these two points with this pleated line like this so this will get your princess cut pattern till the pleats and uh, here you need to mark the upper bust measurement to your armhole and uh, the waistline measurements so take fourth part of your upper bust and uh, fourth part of your waistline add one inches extra on both the uh, measurements as it's a princess cut pattern so half inches it will included in the stitching so now give a flare like this from the waistline as it's a peplum top kind of pattern so uh, we uh, need to cut this out if you want you can just cut this princess cut pattern till here the waistline and then stitch it this will give a more professional look or else you can just uh, fold your fabric till uh, half inches uh, from this princess cut uh, pattern and then uh, just give a top stitch both uh, will be okay now cut this out so this is the front pattern 
red part of your top this is ready now it will look like this and uh, the pleats will look like this here in this point so i hope you understood this very well and uh, you need to give the stitches from uh, the princess cut markings what wherever we had given just trace to the other side the same marking and give a stitch now to make the back part of your top just take the remaining half of your fabric pull it from the middle and uh, from the middle just trace the front pattern the neckline the shoulder line and uh, make uh, the armhole around half inches inside and make the back armhole like this and now we'll cut it to make this top i'll prefer you to use the plain cotton fabric to make your stitching experience easy uh, now after cutting uh, just mark the middle point of this back part and now from this point just measure 4 inches from both the sides like this and then uh, you need to give a straight line till the apex point so from the bottom just trace uh, from the front part also you can take that from the front part just trace your apex point and draw a straight line like this and now around quarter inches from the bottom uh, just next to this line make another line like this and now we need to cut this out onto the line we had drawn before like this and now uh, onto this uh, cut it part we need to insert the loops around three loops are inserted here so just go around four inches downward and insert your first loop uh, in the upper uh, part of your waist so measure it and uh, insert the first loop and likewise insert all the three loops align it properly you can pin it also and then fold your fabric like this and then give a stitch like this and then again turn your fabric to the right side and give another top stitch do the same thing with the other part also here insert the loops and then turn your fabric like this and give a top stitch to give a finishing look so this way your top is completed i hope you understood this session very well if you still have any doubt you can just comment down below i'll answer all your queries and uh, you can make a fancy tassels and insert uh, a long dory in the loops uh, this will give a, a more fancy look to your designer top if you find this video a bit useful then please hit the like button share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe my channel also click the bell icon to get the latest designer wear updates see you in the next video